It's all just here on display, raw. One of the neatest spots I think I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, it really feels like you're stepping back in time. Fourteen hundreds and fifteen hundreds, and then whoa! There's a spider ah, on the camera. Spider on me. Ah. Are we still hanging? Out? This is my get spiders off me dance. Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. Once again, from the town of Deest here in Belgium. So y yesterday, if you missed that video, we hopped a car, drove over from Brussels, kind of started our little uh, European road trip. Yeah, it was a super easy 45 minute drive. And then we wound up in this amazing little city. We went to a really cool fly-in festival, which is where planes literally fly in. They have a beer and a sandwich and then they fly out. Yep. But they also had a bunch of old cars. It was a really cool day. A little yep. rainy, but very cool. But we'll have a link to that video in the description below. Definitely mm -hmm. check it out. We're going to be exploring the city a bit today. There's a lot to see in this city. Tons of old medieval buildings. It's a walled city. So we're going to try to see some of the wall a little bit. But you might also be wondering, what the heck are they doing <laughs> back here? Why are there a bunch of white this tents? This is not the historical part of <laughs> no. the city. No, they are actually, in fact, having a beer market today. Maybe the best reason to visit the city ever. Yeah, so we're gonna be able to go around, try a bunch of different Belgian beers, mm -hmm. but unfortunately they're still setting up. So before we do that, we're going to head to a charming little spot we found for breakfast. For breakfast, we came to this amazing little cafe, just a couple streets behind the hotel we're staying at. And look at this beautiful spread that we have here every type of bread you could ever want. Yeah, we were so blown away when they brought this basket of bread. Look at this, it's got everything. And it's so fresh and delicious. The croissant already is delicious. I cannot wait. And look at all these little meats and cheeses and little dips and sauces. By the way, we will be linking to all the places that we're going to in the city in the description below. So if you are traveling through, we highly recommend to stop first of all, and second of all, go to the places that we have in the description for sure. <laughs> Festival is in full swing. They've got a band playing over there. I see a lot of people around us drinking beer. Yes, there's a lot of beer now, which there was not <laughs> earlier. There is no rain for the moment, although there's a few lurking gray skies, yeah. but. But it actually looks pretty good. I think it's gonna stay away for the rest of the day. Yeah. All right, enough talking. I think we're gonna go taste some beer. Gotta go find our cups. Let's do it. <laughs> we got our first beers. I don't want I want okay. them both. Oh. I, just <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, what am I doing wrong? She's literally not letting me take the beer. We got our first beers is what I meant to say, or what I was trying to say. This is from a brewery called Brewery Bouvens, I think. Bouvens, yes. It's local here in Deez. Yeah, mine is a triple. I'm not sure what yours is. It's called the, the Fiston, I believe, but I don't know what kind it was. Let's give it a try. All Cheers. Right. Oh, yeah. That is just a really nice beer. Woo. I like that mine's a little cloudy. It's yeah. got a lot of flavor. Yeah, tons of flavor, a little bit bitter, yeah. <laughs> which isn't exactly my jam, no. but that's what's cool about a beer market like this is that you can go around, taste everything, find something you like, and then drink a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's a legit beer festival when they have a whole beer glass washing station. I feel like a lot of places you just keep refilling the same glass. Oh no, not here. Check it out. So you dunk it in there to clean it all off. It's got a scrubber in there. Yeah, and then, woo! <laughs> Voila! So it washes off the side so it's not sticky anymore, and it cleans the inside. That is too it's cool! Genius. Can I do yours? Yeah, definitely you can. <laughs> you can do them all. Yeah. You might have a, a career in this. <laughs> this is the Spool Boy. <laughs> the original Spool Boy. Thanks, Spool Boy. <laughs> A cider which we don't sweeten and we dry off it so it will have that hoppy flavor. Okay. We were very attracted to this next stand over here. They told us the brewer has a pug and he loves hops, so they called it Hop Pug. Perfect. <laughs> Makes sense. And it caught our eye, and I'm very glad we went there because we got a sour beer, mm -hmm. and then Eric got a really cool stout. stout. It's supposed to have caramel in there. Yeah, and then he I said think? it was he said it was sweet, but then he was like, well, maybe it's more bitter, like dark chocolate. So I really don't know what to expect. Caramel dark chocolate. This is like opposite ends of the spectrum. I know. Jeez. <laughs> Ooh. It's oh. good. That's way good. It's definitely not sweet. It's no? a little bit bitter, but not too bitter. They serve it very cold, unlike the other ones. Oh, 
Let me see. Yeah. Mine is very tangy. I like that. I definitely get a dark chocolate in there. Oh, oh yeah, it's nice. The smell is. Oh, it's, that's it's a lot more syrupy than something like this, I would imagine. Yeah. Ooh. Man, tangy. after that, it just hurts my jaw. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, though. Not a, oh, not a bad way. Good. <laughs> All right. We've been drinking a lot of sour beers lately. Yeah, they're pretty they're good. Great. All right, onward. This man just ran up to have Allison take a picture and he spoke a bunch of Dutch to her and she just said, yeah, mm-hmm, okay. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> He's still trying to speak Dutch to her. <laughs> this is not going well. Oh, I didn't know you spoke Dutch. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm really well versed in it. I know, I know no Dutch. That was, I feel bad for them. <laughs> yeah, it's always so awkward when a stranger starts talking a different language. You have to be like, uh, sorry, do you speak English? Every time, I'm like, oh, okay, okay, one, two, three. I don't know, whatever. It's fine. It was a good photo. to have a lot of breweries. We just learned over a hundred breweries. We are about to try the original brew, I believe. The brewery used to be here. Unfortunately, it's taken over now, but you can still get it. Uh, these people still brew it. And oh, it's very dark. Oh, I'm excited for this. <laughs> oh, geez, look at this. It's so legit looking. <laughs> okay. Wow, check that out. That's beautiful. That looks amazing. It has original Gildy glass. Okay. Oh, the original Gildy Oh, cool. We have an original glass and everything. So, Gilden beer. All right. All right, and cheers. They get to wear the coolest hats when they brew. I love it. That is nice. Ooh, wow, that is super smooth. It's not super thick or anything wow. like that. That actually or is heavy. my favorite that we've had today. Because it was so dark, I thought it would be heavy, but it's not. No, it's really it's light really and crisp. Light and great. This All is right. really good. Yeah, All thank right. you. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I guess that's why it survived for so long. From, from the draft, eh? Yeah, yeah, the draft. Yeah. 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 Good. And just like that, the beer market is sadly over. It is the next day though, and there is still so much of this city to see. It is kind of a nice day. I don't think it's going to rain, even though there's this big ominous cloud over me. But I think we're going to go check out the city walls first, because this is a really cool old walled city. Should be pretty neat. <laughs> Well, that was officially the cutest thing I think we're gonna see all day, so maybe we should wrap it up. We found a cat, yep. we're good. All <laughs> Day's right. a success. Yep. All set. <laughs> Guys, I think it's about time we invest in some uh, property. We found the perfect starter home, a tiny house, really, five square feet. I think that's enough, enough room. We've been in smaller, right? <laughs> yeah, I think if we sleep standing up, uh, we can really oh, yeah. do a lot with the yeah. interior. If you sleep standing up, you could have room for a closet in there. It's open. <laughs> Whoa, oh. Oh lord. Oh my god, lots of spiders. Oh jeez. This is pretty cool though, huh? Look at this whole thing. What the heck is this for? I have no idea. There is no indicator of what this was ever used for. I can usually stuff like this isn't unlocked. We found these pretty amazing parts of the old wall of the city. I think they're just the main gates where you came into the city, but it's all just here on display raw it's we're the only ones here wild yeah this it's pretty incredible one of the neatest spots i think i've ever seen yeah i mean look at this spot it's insane it's all overgrown there's still stones on the ground there's all these little corridors here that are just creepy like af storage or what but we were reading so this was the main entrance they said a third of all incoming and outgoing traffic came through here so there's two different entrances or two different structures i guess that you have to pass through be pretty hard to get into this city geez <laughs> yeah. this little spot is super cool from above it just looks like this little cut out overgrown square in the middle of a bunch of forest land and the river right next to it also we haven't really told you guys about deist so first mention of it was in the 800s but it became like a flourishing thriving city in the 1400s and 1500s and then oh there's a spider ah, on the camera spider on me ah. oh he's still hanging out do spider check spider check this is my get spiders off me dance it's pretty similar <laughs> to get wasps and bees off of you too yeah it's all from the same playbook i'd say okay you were saying <laughs> in the 14 and 1500s deist was a flourishing city sadly the plague came for it wars came economic decline and it kind of went downhill for a bit but now it is back and thriving 
There's also a train track right there. <laughs> Very convenient though. I think this is the one that takes you right to Brussels. So what was I talking about? Plagues and such. Oh, the river. The river that runs through here made it a nice place for trading because it was easy to get here. Also, it was in between Bruges and Cologne, so it was like the middle ground for traders, but it also meant that it was central for all the wars. So anybody fighting north, south, east, west, they all came through here. So there's been a lot of stuff going on here, but it's doing yeah. okay now. I think there's been lots of different ownership of the city it's over the years as well. It's traded hands so many times. Yeah. The history is pretty wild. You should read about it. This incredibly beautiful area that we're in right now is called a beginage. Now what the heck is that? A beginage is home to women called beguines. And uh, if you've never heard that term before, it's basically women who dress like nuns, but they don't take any formal vows. So they're technically not nuns, but they still live like a solemn, pious life, I think. And the whole thing is centered around this giant church right here. This one here, it started in the 1200s. This doesn't operate as a beginnage anymore. I think the people of Dees can actually rent these places in here, but it's very cool. The minute you walk into it, it's just really solemn and quiet. I actually feel awkward talking so loud in here, <laughs> but I haven't seen a soul in here. <laughs> they have like a cafe over here and it's closed on Monday. So maybe on other days, it'll be a little bit more happening, but for now, we have it all to ourselves. I am loving this area of the city. It's so pretty. They have so many fresh flowers out in front of all these houses. They're so old and beautiful and so well maintained. It really feels like you're stepping back in time. Night has officially fallen, which means it's dinner time, you guys. And we have come to a restaurant called in Den Zorten Inval. This is her cheat sheet. <laughs> it's written on the napkin. This is also maybe the classiest napkin I have ever seen. First course has arrived. We just got their uh, soup of the day, which is a uh, tomato soup with veggies in it. It looks very nice, very light. And then we have some very local famous dishes coming. Yes, her dish is in this beer and my dish is in this beer. So they brought yes. us the corresponding beers. Which they we recommended, thought was really cool. yes, we have the beers that correspond with our dishes and they are both Superb, although Dude. they are nine and nine percent, ten percent Belgian so, beers, man. This is They're probably insane. the only beer we will be having because uh, they do. <laughs> I've only had one sip of beer. <laughs> they do not mess around, is what I was going to say. Belgian beers are right to the point, and I like that. We ordered exactly. the biggest pot of mussels that maybe I have ever seen, and Actually, it's only the medium. You could have gotten even bigger. Yeah, this is insane. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, but luckily the mussels are tiny in there, so it's actually yeah. not that much meat. So I'll make good work of this. They have all sorts of different types of mussels. We got the house style, which comes with carrots and leeks, I think. This one is right up top, so that's the one I'm gonna eat first. <laughs> this little guy. He's so cute. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm -hmm. Ooh. Wow. There's a nice like peppery, spicy pepperiness. You just get a lot of flavor of the mussel, and also you get a little bit of vegetables in it, which is great. We got the carrots, we got the leeks, which I probably won't be partaking of because I'm not a big fan, but Allison will be eating those. And then I also got the rabbit, and it's in the deest style sauce, so it has the local beer sauce on it. Yeah, oh, it came, I didn't even have to cut that, actually. I was cutting way up here, and it just <laughs> fell apart. Oh, have we had rabbit, really? Uh, it's been a long time. A long have. time. Ooh. Mm. The sauce is really peppery again. I guess like the mussels. It's like a sweeter peppery gravy. And then the rabbit itself is really interesting. It's kind of the consistency of chicken. It's almost like a mix between pork and chicken or something like that. It's very unique. It's also maybe a little sweet. Maybe it's just the sauce and getting in there, but it's really good. It's really tender. I'm loving these mussels, you guys. I'm just in the zone over here. I got halfway through it and I was like, oh shoot, we were supposed to be sharing these. <laughs> but That's okay. I've eaten most of the yeah. rabbit anyway. So <laughs> These are all mine, but now that I've gotten down to the juice, you get a little burst of flavor from that. You get a bunch of vegetables in it. They were all, there's actually a bunch of carrots in here that were just hidden in the bottom, but I'm just enjoying this quite a bit. I think I'm more of a mussels fan. We had oysters recently, and uh, I think I'm more of an, a Muscles fan. They're real good. Perfect night. <laughs> we 
leave Dees, there's one more thing that we want to explore and it is this gigantic structure known as the Citadel. The Citadel sits on top of this giant hill in town and it was built in the first half of the 1800s when Belgium separated from the Netherlands. And the idea was that in order for an invader to get to Brussels, they had to go through the Citadel first. So it was a big defensive position. That's why they built it. The Citadel is a completely brick structure. It's in a Pentagon style. So it's got the five sides to it and it's really well preserved. In fact, it is the last remaining structure like this in Flanders, which is really cool. And it looks like, I mean, some of the windows have been um, banged out and some of the doors are ajar, but it actually is still standing. All of it seems to be intact. And it's got this really cool grass growing on top of it. It makes it really pretty. So much stuff around Deest is just open. I don't know if you're allowed to go in all this stuff, but it's open, but check this out. <laughs> it's just a creepy gate. Oh. To a creepy tunnel. Ooh, creepy. Ooh. This is pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of rooms like this all around too. Well, that's gonna do it for our time here in Deest. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us exploring the city. We had a blast. We love charming little towns like this. It was so much fun going to the beer festival. We walked all over the city. We saw some cool old walls, old bridges, yeah. windmills. The Citadel just a minute ago. We mm -hmm. really enjoyed that. We actually meant to spend like 30 minutes here. We've been here for a couple hours now. We so definitely literally come here. walked around it one and a half times. Yeah. And let me just say, the people here have been incredibly nice and accommodating and warm and friendly. Everyone's and, been stopping and chatting with us. Yes. And very patient with our English and lack of uh, of Dutch. Dutch We've yes. learned maybe two or three Dutch words, which we're not going to say right now because you guys will just laugh at us. We are about to hit the road to Luxembourg, a, mm -hmm. new, a new country for us. We'll have to count up how many countries it's been. Yeah, so that's where we're going to be heading to in the next video. We're excited to explore it and take you guys along with us as usual. And I think that's going to do it. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.